Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. I'm the creator of Ganshi Plains Printables and every month I do a video doing an overview of all of the inserts that were released in the previous month to give you some ideas of how to use them, how I use them, and hopefully to inspire your planner system. In this video I'm going to be showing you all the inserts that were released in February 2021. The first insert released in February was insert number 26, which is a podcast uh, planning checklist. Uh, there were two checklists like this in uh, January's releases, a YouTube one and a blog post one. And so this is in the same vein. It's got the checklist of all kinds of best practices on this side and space for planning um, the topic of your episode, keywords, um, sources, outline, and everything for your show notes. So that is for planning a podcast episode. Insert number 27 is one that I'm actually really excited about and I've been using it for the last while. I was using a uh, sort of prototype for a while and really loving it. So this is a meal plan and grocery list insert. So on the meal plan side, you list, you know, all the different meals that you want for the week. Generally, I just plan my dinners. Um, and so you might need, I don't know, two pages to fit a full week if you're planning more meals than that. But the idea is you put, uh, there's room for more than seven because I generally will keep some extra meal stuff on hand in case maybe I can't do the grocery order on the same day every week or whatever. So um, there's room for eight on the pocket size and more on larger sizes. You put what the meal is, obviously. The circles I use to indicate shelf stability. So if something is completely shelf stable and can last however long, I'll put, I'll fill in three circles. If it's um, very <laughs> non-stable, volatile, likely to go bad quickly. If it's um, like mushrooms don't last very long in the fridge, that sort of thing. Um, or something that you know is going to go bad within the next week or two, then you put one circle and then something in the middle is like, where the, this is the way I do it. Obviously you can do it however you want, but I, the middle circle I use for, um, or for two out of three circles is for things that are shelf stable, except for a couple of ingredients that I always keep in stock anyway. So like if a meal calls for milk, then that's fine because I always have milk in the fridge anyway. Um, so that is how I do that anyway. And then I, I check one box for having the ingredients, one box for cooking it, and a third box for eating all the leftovers. But obviously you can do whatever you want with it. Um, and then you can plan out your menu for this week and also the following week to have an idea of what's coming up. So when you're planning next week's menu, you can keep an idea of, you know, oh, I'm going to be at my parents' house that week, you know, that day. And I have, you know, um, short day on Tuesday and I can, you know, cook longer or whatever it is. Then on the grocery list side, there's uh, six different spaces. So the idea, uh, I like to do my grocery list this way where I'll put like produce and then list all of the produce you need in a freezer and list all of the stuff in the frozen aisles. And so you basically put different departments of the grocery store so that as you're going around, you just look at one section at a time and you don't have to be searching your entire list for something and then have to double back and all of that. So insert 27 meal plan grocery list. I really like it. Insert 28, this one I'm also really excited about. Uh, this will actually be this next Thursday's weekly plan with me video. So um, you can see it in action then, but this is a weekly and daily combo with a sort of faux Dutch door design. So um, on the left column, you've got your weekly. There's space here for three projects with three next action items each. I would think any more than that would probably be overwhelming. Um, and then a couple of spa uh, spaces for some overarching weekly goals, but generally you daily, your tasks can go in your dailies as well because there's also space there. Um, there is a habit tracker down here. Notice it doesn't have any boxes. The boxes are all on the dailies. So you probably can't visualize it right now, but you'll see it in Thursday's video. This page here, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this will be back to back. Um, you fold this in half so that you can always see one daily column and also the weekly column at the same time throughout the entire week. So you can keep an eye on, you know, your, your goals and tasks that you're worried about, all of your habits, and then also focus down to what is going on in each individual day. So you've got day of the week, space to add the date, a few tasks here, hopefully not too many that it's overwhelming, little overview of your day, and then space here. I, 
I use these kinds of boxes. You can use them for anything. I use them for like my meal for the, you know, for the evening or my plans for the evening or, you know, don't forget to bring this in the morning or I don't know, highlight sort of boxes. And then these are all of the check boxes for your habit tracker. So insert 28, very excited about that and tune in on Thursday, like, subscribe, comment. Oh yeah. Uh, insert 29. I made this for myself and I figure maybe someone else will find it useful. There you have the single checklist. You have the double checklist. Now triple bladed for extra close shave. It's three check boxes, you know, so if something has three steps, you can check them all off and you get like the added satisfaction of checking off intermediate steps. You don't have to like it, but it exists. And here it is. <laughs> Insert 30. The last one from the month is a basic it's either a PL or a savings tracker, basically tracking balances in, in cash. So uh, you start with your balance here. This is your starting balance. And then you put, you know, what the item is in the top row and then the date and then whether it's a input or an out going of cash of funds and then what the new balance is. So I personally use this for tracking like my shop and YouTube revenue. You can obviously use it for just saving or for in and out at the same time. It's a budget tracker and it's pretty simple, straightforward, and uh, I kind of like it. So that's insert 30. And that's it. All of my inserts can be found at ganshiplans.com slash shop. There's a link down in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell and all that good stuff. I post videos twice a week about my planner and other lifestyle, lifestyle topics. I'll see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye.